Hi, Cancer. Thanks for stopping by Spiritually Speaking. My name is Enchanted. I deliver guided intuitive messages directly from the divine. And this is your September 2020 general energy reading. Cancer, how are you? It's been quite some time since we last, since we last talked. A lot has taken place. It's by no accident that you found yourself watching this video. That means that this message was definitely meant for you or for someone that you know. Nothing happens by chance or by accident, Cancer. In the month of September, it's going to be very important that you're in touch with your emotions. Um, there's some emotions that you did not deal with in the past. That spirit is going to have resurfaced at different points throughout the month. They're going to seem like little tests, trials, and tribulations. But Cancer, as long as you ground yourself, and remain true to you, you're going to pass all of these experiences that are going to present themselves throughout the month of September 2020. I'm just calibrating these cards to the energy of the overall collective zodiac sign of Cancer. What is the message for the Cancer? The water sign, sun, moon, rising. All right. Thank you. We got the thinking man. And I noticed that my accent is changing. And it's more of a southern accent. You could be an older Caucasian male. You could be thinking a lot about your life, your foundation. The way things are changing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of you all have received a certain diagnosis. And you don't know how you're going to tell your family. So what I'm picking up on. Let's see what's going on. What are you thinking about? Other of you are thinking about your money. You got a man holding a coin, but it's in reverse. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Could be a same um, gender situation. What I'm picking up and feeling and seeing here is that there is a lot on your mind, Cancer. A lot on your mind. And for the month of September, well... For the month of September, there's going to be a lot on your woman's mind, too. Because you've got a woman holding a coin in reverse. Maybe you thought you were going to get some help from a woman friend or a female friend. You guys, keep in mind that these signs are interchangeable in a general reading. But what I'm picking up on here is that, you know, maybe they didn't come through with the offer that they said they would. And that kind of left you in the hard place. Maybe you were counting on them. Yeah. But deep down inside, you still love this individual. I feel the still love there, you know? So, Cancer, let's just lay your cards all out. Thank you, Spirit, God, and angels. Thank you so much. Mm. There could be some fiery, passionate communication coming in as well, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit, God, and angels, for your guidance and your protection. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for the light. What is the message that you have for the zodiac sign of cancer? For some of you, you could be dealing with a um for some of you you could be dealing with the Capricorn. There could be certain addictions that are gonna be coming up in the month of September. Could be dealing we got the five of swords in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Let's see. What's going on with the cancer? We got the knight of sword here. I mean, the knight of pentacles here. I'm feeling that this is an offer coming in and you've been fighting for it like it's a well-deserved offer or it's been like a long time coming for some of you you could be just you could just now be hearing from unemployment or receiving some type of resources um as it relates to the pandemic relief right <clears throat> what's going on with the cancers I'm getting a lot of masculine energies. For some of you guys, you're definitely dealing with, like, 
and a, a air sign Aquarius a Libra or Gemini spirit what is the message that you have thank you yeah the high priest is in reverse it's something that's going on that shouldn't be or something that was going on that shouldn't be going on this is a love triangle oh my goodness got the eight of wands mm. and spirit what's the outcome four of wands in the race all right so cancer what I'm picking up on um is that <laughs> you know maybe you could have met with someone you went out had a couple drinks. One thing led to another. And, you know, you might be head over heels for someone. But they're not, you know, head over heels for you. Is what I'm seeing here, Cancer. And you guys remember, I'm picking up on information. that's coming out the most, you know. It's the most prevalent here. Cancer, what I see here is that there was a situation that took place for some of you guys. You know, there are different scenarios that are coming together. For some of you, there's new communication of a brand new beginning, a brand new start. You definitely have a brand new opportunity coming your way. You definitely have offers coming in, new job offers. I see relocation for some of you. For others of you, I see you connecting with people, networking. You guys could be in marketing or something like that. I'm seeing a lot of emails being sent. You could be checking your email rapidly. All right, the outcome here. Um for the month of september it's the four of wands of reverse you could be dealing with the fire sign uh, aries leo or sagittarius but what i see here overall scorpio let me make sure you guys can see your guys okay so what i see here overall scorpio was that this is a lesson learned and that's what this message is as well their message is coming in from spirit their message is coming in from other individuals for some of you someone is going to be sending you an email kind of like a dear john letter hey thanks for the good time i appreciate it you know um others of you they're going to be like you know we can't continue this affair or whatever they're not gonna just completely ghost you is what I'm seeing or you're not just gonna completely ghost someone but there's definitely going to be some communication coming in as it relates to um, for some of you you're making an offer to someone for others of you someone is making an offer to you and for others of you you're refusing the offer is what I see here I definitely felt like things were moving fast with this knight of wands the chariot the devil and the page of wands here um i'm feeling like if this is the same gender situation it could have been an older male younger male situation i'm picking up on a lot of that lately tonight but look at the page of wands you know sometimes the wands are symbolic of the male phallic well not sometimes they are you guys see if you know anything about tarot here a lot of wands on the board again you could be dealing with the aries leo or sagittarius but look at the knight of wands is facing the page of wands and we have the chariot and the yeah the devil card in reverse because i feel like this is temptation um and this is temp like an old temptation from the past is surfacing oh i'm about to pull up out of this energy cancer whatever you have going on you got to know that you're protected you know what i mean only you know what's healthy. It's important that you set healthy boundaries for yourself and for others as well. It's important that others adhere to the healthy boundaries that you put in place for yourself. Um, I definitely see where, you know, maybe where there were plans to move in. 
you know, those plans might be changing toward the middle to the end of September where you will head over heels with someone. Those feelings may be changing because maybe you're finding out someone has some sort of addictions or they have some weird habits that, you know, just don't sit right with you or whatever. But whatever it is, um, you're going to be protected, right? So you have a lot on your mind. You have a lot to think about. You have a lot to process cancer, right? It's important that you balance your emotions. It's important that you govern yourself accordingly. And it's important that you accept all experiences as a learning lessons and it's important that you apply the information that you've learned from these lessons cancer baby i've given you all i have Whew. someone is saying i've given you all i have for others of you this is someone that you just met for others of you this is someone that you've been dealing with on and off you guys have been going back and forth about whether you're going to make it public for some of you guys you're tired of being in the closet you want to come out you don't want to be oh child you don't want to struggle with this you don't want to have this issue this thing as an insecurity anymore cancer You got a lot on your mind. It's a lot to process. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come in and close out this reading. Because this is a lot that's going on. Do we need any clarifiers? Why is the Four of Wands in reverse? Well, why is the High Priestess in reverse? We got the Four of Wands again. Oh, MG, baby. <laughs> we don't need any glare. Look, I'm telling you. Spirit, as it relates to the cancer, September 2020, why is the king of sword in reverse? We got the hangman, right? Someone is indecisive. Could be dealing with the Pisces. But I'm picking up on a lot of fire energy here got the empress could be dealing with the aries right a married individual and the emperor is a boss of a, a, a see someone could be having an affair with the ceo of a company of their company Ooh, it's a lot of affairs going on like right Watch the Four of Wands in reverse. Please clarify the Four of Wands. Yeah, we got it again. We got the Emperor and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Someone is tired of being in the dark. Someone is tired of holding in these secrets. Someone is tired of beating themselves up, being all in their head, being up at night about this thing. Someone is tired of thinking and giving you their energy. Oh, baby, it's like I'm tired. I don't know what to do. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Oh, what do you want me to do? We got the Page of Wands again. The Page of Wands twice. Wow. Listen, whatever is going on in your life, Cancer, because you know more than anyone, and I suggest that you guys, you know, take what resonates in these readings and leave what don't. Do, never give your power to a reader. Right? These are just the general energies that, that, that are popping up, baby. And never give your power to another lover as well, Cancer. We got water and fire. What if you put that together and what does it make? Is the water going to put out the fire? Hmm. Holy Spirit, what's your final word for the cancer? Into his presence would I enter now. Into his presence would I enter now. You can refuse to enter, but you cannot bear you cannot bar the door. Mm. You cannot bar the door that Christ holds open come unto me who holds it open for you for while 
for a while. Mm. Sorry, you guys, my eyelash is falling in my eye. For I live for a while. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to start over, you guys. Ugh. You can refuse to enter, but you cannot bar the door that Christ holds open. Come unto me, who holds it open for you. For while I live, it cannot be shut. And I live forever. Okay, so all the Spirit is telling you is cancer to enter into this presence. You can refuse, but that door is always going to be open. You have eternal life. You have a life more abundantly. Whatever way you're choosing, whatever it is that's weighing heavy on your heart, you can lay your burden down, cancer. You don't have to carry it alone. That door is open and it's gonna remain open for all of infinity. I love you guys. Thank you for your time and your energy. Until the next time, until next month, namaste.